Hey guys, thank you for tuning in to another video. Um, I just want to thank everyone for subscribing. We just hit a thousand subscribers, and I'm really thankful for everyone that's supporting and hitting that subscribe button. Um, if you're tuning into the channel right now and you um, you're not subscribed, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. I post a lot of content, uh, racing um, content. You know, uh, if you have a car like this, I have a you know wheel specs videos, uh, model lists. You know what you need to uh, reach certain power levels. So yeah, I post uh, all kinds of content like that, mostly racing content. So if you guys want to see that, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. I have a lot of that coming and a lot of that on my channel already. So feel free to check out the channel and uh, watch those videos. Um, but without further ado, let's just get straight into this video. Today, uh, I wanted to go over uh, the tuners for this platform. So uh, most of you guys don't know this, but I was tuned by uh, two different tuners out here in SoCal where I'm from. And um, obviously right now, um, I'm tuned by a race box. Now, um, basically, I'm making this video um, for people who have VR platforms or who want to get a VR platform and plan on getting tuned or, you know, um, want to build their uh, Q60 or Q50, you know, but, you know, they want to put all the mods on before they get it tuned. Um, you're gonna wanna look into this tuner that I'm you know, basically gonna talk about, which is Racebox. Um, so I have videos of me uh, racing other cars when I was tuned by these two different SoCal tuners. So um, the first one I was tuned by, um, I left him because the car just felt terrible. Um, you know, it didn't, it didn't feel like it was at full potential, but not only that, like the driving capability of the car like it would rev out kind of high, like the trans was like acting like shit. And um, so I raced a couple cars. I don't, I don't have any videos, but I ended up going to this SoCal tuner and when I, this other tuner. Um, and when um, I got tuned by him, I was happy because, you know, I didn't have that issue with the trans no more. The car felt more, uh, you know, it felt more drivable. Felt like I could daily a little bit more. Uh, it just felt smoother. Um, but I felt like the lack of power was still there compared to the cars that I was racing. For example, I ran this 10 speed um, and keep in mind at the time I was 91 tuned with full down pipes and a heat exchanger. So two bolt tons, not that many mods. Um, this 10 speed, I believe was just intake E85 tune. But yeah, um, at the time I felt like I still shouldn't be losing to this car. But here's a clip of me racing that uh, Mustang. Mustang completely got me right and at this time I was tuned by that other SoCal tuner and I'm not gonna say any names obviously because I don't want to throw anyone under the bus um, but yeah I wasn't tuned by Racebox at this time um, lucky for me uh, literally like four or five days later uh, Racebox was coming to SoCal um, to uh, dyno tune cars and I hit them up and luckily they had a spot opening so I hopped on that right away and um, I ended up getting dyno tuned by them. So um, basically the next clip's gonna be me rerunning that same exact Mustang with the same exact mods, just a different tune. And um, I'll throw the numbers too of what it made on that dyno.
y'all a tune makes a big difference that was just basically same exact mods full down pipes heat exchanger just a different tune by racebox on 91 so uh yeah i made a huge difference i went from losing by two or three cars to winning by like a car top end and my top end would have kept going so top end was a lot better and not only that guys um the tune felt a lot better like the car felt more drivable like the dri the driving capability like the daily driving you know the the gears would just shift so smooth like just for daily driving I, I wouldn't feel like i would have to step on it for the car to feel like it's running right you know i would just you know basically regular driving it felt good the trans felt healthy the car you know felt good and everything was good like everything was just 10 times better than what it was before and i was really happy now this was a dyno tune so i didn't have to deal with all that email tuning and stuff like that so i wasn't really knowing what to expect with that but as you guys know now my car's not on 91 no more or it doesn't have two bolt-ons either it's full bolt-ons it has everything it has the exhaust down pipes heat exchanger it has the low pressure fuel pump the high pressure the flex fuel kit it has everything now um so obviously they haven't been back to socal so i had to dyno the car or i had to tune the car through email the whole time and i've had zero issues with doing that uh alex over at go race box he's the goat they have great they have great customer service um you know you text them on instagram they'll get back to you as soon as possible you email alex he'll get back to you the next day um so yeah so when i was when i was doing logs to get tuned on e85 because i had to get email tuned i would send over the log and they would get back to me the next day with a new tune you know they would tell me what's going on how the car looks you know if i need to fix anything not only that they're really really smart with um you know these vrs when you're tuning them you run into a couple issues you run into a couple check engine lights and that happened to me i ran into a couple check engine lights and um sent over the logs told alex the codes and literally um, one time he had told me okay your fuel pressure sensor went out and i said okay so I, I changed that and yeah the problem was fixed right away like he knew exactly what it was um another time um my spark plugs went out and i didn't know what was going on with the car it was just misfiring kind of weird and i hit him up i sent him a log he was like it looks like it's your spark plugs change the spark plugs and that's exactly what it was um the spark plugs i swapped them and the car had no issues at all so yeah that just goes to show that they're really knowledgeable with this platform and they know exactly you know what's wrong with it when there's issues and stuff like that so that helps out a lot when you're you run into issues and your tuner can help you and you know uh, find out what it is right away like the next day that's really really helpful so that's something that racebox is also really good at um yeah but you know shout out to them this isn't a sponsored video by them or anything like that this is just me giving my honest opinion about them and uh yeah i just wanted to put that out there for all uh, people with this platform if you plan on getting tuned you know definitely recommend them hit them up talk to them and um yeah they'll answer any questions you guys have about this platform they're really knowledgeable with this platform so uh yeah that's pretty much gonna do it for this video um thank you guys for watching make sure you guys uh, leave a like and leave a comment if you guys have any questions i'll literally reply to everyone like everyone's comment so yeah thank you peace